Now, you don't take a photograph, you make it. So American photographer Ansel Adams once said, and someone who's been making images unlike anybody else is the award-winning artist Alison Jackson. She's the satirist behind staged, grainy pap shots that portray the imagined lives of politicians, royals, and celebs. Her latest work features someone who used to be in real estate and on reality TV. I went to meet her in her London studio. The provocative photographs of Alison Jackson, the artist who captures and mocks our obsession with celebrity culture. Her latest victim, the man hoping to become the next US president, shown here in this month's Vanity Fair. Donald Trump. I've met the guy. He's Great. got very distinctive looks, as we know. And this is remarkable. Yes. But it's not. No. How long did it take you to find your perfect Donald J. Trump? Well, uh, this is a look like, and it took me a year to find this particular person. A year. A whole year. I really thought I was never going to find a Donald Trump look like, and I was beginning to feel very, very desperate. And uh, I was beginning very upset about it because I wanted to make so much work about Donald Trump. I mean, he's completely fascinating. Uh, you know, he's not a politician. Uh, he's a celebrity, and he's taking celebrity into politics. These are some of the, the Trumps that came to the casting, as you can see. A fraction. A fraction. A hundreds uh, arrived. So when you approach people and you said, I'm looking for the perfect Donald Trump lookalike, and I've been looking for months, did they think you were insane? Well, I mean, I had casting directors in L.A., New York, London, and then we branched out into Slovakia, Poland and Russia because of the lips, because mm -hmm. I felt that he had a sort of flat face and those little pouty lips could uh, come from that part of the world. Funnily enough, I found them both in the States eventually. I spent a lot of time on constructing practically a whole head. I mean, there are weaves and all sorts of things going on underneath that uh, flip thing. Mm -hmm. There's a, an astonishing picture and he's having finger extensions put on. He's very worried about the size of his hands after the numerous sort of jokes that have been made about his short fingers. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Your concept of art, which I find so amusing, is actually, I mean, some of it's very shocking, but a lot of it is funny because you're taking people and you're putting them in very ordinary situations. I love the one of the Queen going to the betting shop with all her courtiers. Yeah. Well, I try and uh, create scenes that we've all imagined but we've never seen before and uh, make it look completely realistic. Uh, the Queen uh, going betting, well, of course, she loves horses and betting. I'm sure she snuck into a betting shop at one time or another. There is a serious point of this as well, isn't it? You're essentially sort of holding up a mirror to our celeb-obsessed society. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, we're totally celebrity-crazed. Uh, you know, how can a celebrity, a media man, become a politician? However, we are sick of politicians, so but it is a particularly good moment for a non-politician to become president. Does anyone love you? Are you going to fool? Hey. 